Can you do line art with Madame Glam's putting gels? That's the question. Who did the question come from? It came from Zelda Montaigne, one of my followers. Hello, Zelda. Hope you heard, hope you were doing well. Um, she wanted to know if I could do a video, um, not swatching, but doing line work with um, the pudding gels. I think I had mentioned it in um, one of my advent days uh, that Madame Glenn was discontinuing some of their gel paints and that the pudding gels might work as a replacement. So I'm going to go ahead and see the consistency, see how well they swatch in comparison. I'm not gonna do a compare and contrast uh, because I know pretty much how, from using them all the time, how well um, gel paints swatch. Yes, gel paints <laughs> line, because I use them all the time. Uh, the question is though, can putting gels be a replacement? So we're going to set about to find that out today. I just need to find the proper brush. I think that'll do. Um, I'm gonna grab some alcohol and acetone so I can clean my brush in between, which generally speaking, you should not do. You should always clean your brushes with clear gel. <coughs> However, I'm too lazy to do that. So um, I usually just clean it with a little bit of acetone and then coat it with um, clear gel paint, clear gel polish afterwards so that um, it keeps the brush bristles hydrated. So I'm going to choose a few different colors. I'm not going to do all of them because if one works, then all of them will work. Um, I don't have, I want to do some Christmas colors. I don't have a green. I think this one will have to do. It's more like a sage. And then I've got white and red and let's pull iron, which was from last year's advent calendar. And we'll do those four. So I'm out of um, swatch stands because they're all occupied with the artwork from the advent calendar um, art. So I'm just going to use swatch sticks. So putting gels come with this lovely cap on them, which I always wind up somehow getting all over the place. It's supposed to prevent you from getting the gel all over the place, but it doesn't seem to work with me because I am prone to accidents. Would help if I wore gloves, but alas, I don't want to. All right, so these are the four colors. And this is a swatch stick. So I'm going to start off with the red and we're going to do some candy cane striping. Okay, the bristles are quite tight, so I'm going to loosen them up. And by tight, I mean stiff. All right, so first thing I'm noticing is that the, what's the word, formula is a bit thinner. It's not as opaque. That being said, it stands up well on the nail. It's not moving at all. It does eventually self-level when you're polishing the entire nail. It does take a little bit longer to do so because the formula is thicker than regular gel polish. That's why it's in a pot. Uh, because you would never be able to get it out of a bottle, but it is a bit thinner. And that's a hair. Um, I would hesitate to pile it on too thick though, as with all gel polishes, you want to do relatively thin coats so that it cures properly. But I'm finding that this works better for line in my limited use so far. It's working better for line art and for art in general than it does as a full nail polish. Because when I've, the red worked really well when I did it in um, Advent day, day Seven with the Christmas tree. But um, I, when I first started buying, I'm gonna cure this, when I first started buying 
uh, putting gels. I found it to be a bit streaky and difficult to work with. And I know from watching other videos that other nail artists and nail enthusiasts have had the same experience. So I don't know if it's Madame Glam's goal to replace the gel paints with the pudding gels since they are very similar in consistency. You can tell I haven't used this since last year and it still has the brush stroke in it. So that tells you how thick it is and how easy it is to use it for art. Um, but it does make it more difficult to use as all over color because it doesn't self level as easily and you need to work with it and finesse it a little bit more to get it uh, to get that good full coverage without any um, uh, streakiness. So I'm going to wipe the brush and go in with another color and we'll put, put this away. I got rid of the interior cap because I just kept flinging it all over the place and I got tired of it. So let's go in now with some white. Let's clean the brush a little bit better. So yeah, I mean, definitely as a replacement for the gel paints, I think this works quite well, especially if that's Madame Glam's goal. But if you're on the fence about purchasing these, then I would consider what your use for them is. Because if you want them for all over coverage, it might be more trouble than it's worth. Versus if you really want to get into line art or a general um, art with character studies or, you know, whatever your heart desires. I'm losing my words tonight. Um, I think definitely these work better for art than for, um, for all over color. All right, so here are our stripes. You can tell that they are quite prominent. They haven't spread at all. They kept their shape. However, they are quite raised. Um, I feel like it's even a thicker formula maybe than, um, than the gel paints, even though the opacity isn't always there. Can't really see through it, but there are some colors that you need to build, especially if you are using it as an all over color versus just striping. Um, so I am going to put on a base coat and a top coat to kind of level it out. And I'm going to go quite heavy with it so that it fills in all of the recesses and gaps between. Um, the benefit though of using gel paints are they dry with a they dry tack free. So if you finish your manicure and you decide last minute that you want to put one more design element, you can go back in with the gel paints 
and not really worry about having to top coat again on top. The putty gels though, the pudding gels, you need to top coat. So I'm going to cure that, I'm going to do a top coat and then I will show this um, iron color as an all over color and how to apply it as such. Okay, so when using gel paint, um, pudding gels as an all over color, what you wanna do is you wanna lay down a slip layer. So that's just dragging a thin coat across the nail so that there's something for subsequent layers to cling to. So you can see it's somewhat streaky. There's raised portions, there's bare spots. So I'm going to go over with another light layer, try to smooth it out. And I'm going to cure it and I'll go in for a second coat. Meanwhile, here is our finished striped nail. It is now all smooth and even, and we are quite festive still for the holiday season. There is a bit on the edge where I first put down the brush, where the paint, uh, the polish gathered. So if you wanted to avoid that, I would definitely go in and after you do a base coat, wipe the inhibition layer, sand that down, um, and then go in with another coat of base and then top coat. So if I were to just take my file and lightly go over the edge. All right, so these are our finished swatches. We've got the line work and then we've got the all over coverage. And as you can see, they both work quite well. Um, I do still feel like for all over coverage, it takes a little bit more work because you really need to have patience and do thin layers and work with it uh, to smooth it out. But the color is really nice, uh, the clarity, the um, opacity is great, uh, no problems on that end. It's just because it is a thicker formula, it will take a little bit more effort to get it to smooth out. Um, for the line work, it holds up very well. It stays raised if you wanted to use it for embossing where you coat it with um, acrylic afterwards and cure it. That would be great also since it is a thicker formula, you'll really get that raised embossed look. And of course, for any uh, design work or line art, um, it does work quite well. So that is this video. Let me know what you think. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down in the comment section below. Um, all the information for the products I used will be in the description box below as always. Please hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you know when new videos are available and I will see you soon. Bye.